for cost managers, BIM is transformational. Instead of quantity spheres of cost managers having to manually extract quantities or measure quantities from drawings or schematics or single line diagrams, um, they can automatically extract quantities from building information models. It's what we call 5D BIM, where we've taken the three-dimensional model, we've appended cost information to it, um, and produced and rapidly produced uh, estimates. The big change for quantity spheres is we're now free to do higher value added work, as in validating the information in the model, um, verifying that scope has actually been trapped in the model itself, and supplementing the quantities extracted from the model with items which may not necessarily have been modelled. As a cost manager, you need to um, deploy and adopt BIM and, and BIM methodologies because other members of the design team are using BIM to create designs and model uh, construction projects. And the rate of change and the ability for designers to iterate through design options without having the additional overhead of changing schedules and plans and sections and, and elevations manually means that changes are going to come thick and fast at cost managers. We simply have to embrace BIM. Manual methods of measuring and counting are just too slow. Currently, we tend to cost completed designs. We don't help designers design to cost. And that will be the opportunity and the challenge for cost managers uh, to allow us really help the design team design to cost, as opposed to having to come back and do reactive value engineering. Take an element of a project, maybe it's structural steel, maybe it's ductwork or pipework, and put that through a BIM quantity extraction process. And I would recommend in parallel, do a 2D exercise on that, measure it traditionally, compare the two. BIM is all about building confidence, building confidence and trust in your capabilities and in the quant your quantities and in the models themselves. Um, so start small, start on an element of a building, then move on and do a small project in BIM. But importantly, inform the designers that you're working with that you're going to use their models for quantity takeoff. To date, cost managers have not gotten involved in the BIM process in any great numbers. And designers need feedback, designers need input from cost managers as to what they can do. So I would just say start small, plan, evaluate the software options, and if you are evaluating software, maybe look for a tool that will allow you to do traditional 2D takeoffs on screen and also do BIM takeoffs. So as your staff are getting used to the software, they're working on 2D projects, they're using templates and workbooks and worksheets that they can then utilize on BIM so it's not a complete new transition to a new platform.